Jessica, and welcome to Cosmos World. Today we're going to talk about biodiversity. How do you like me now? Hey, Tara, did you see my Super Indy 900? Oh, brother Cosmo, are you ready? Ready for anything. Like what? Well, what do you know about biodiversity? Uh, what is biodiversity? What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is the variety of living things in an area. Diversity means variety. Variety. Diversity means different things mixed together. Spiders. And ravens. And bears. This plant is called Eastern Gammagrass. This is Canada Wild Rye. This plant is called Eupatorium. These grasses look similar, but they're different in important ways. And that difference is what creates biodiversity. Biodiversity. Who can name an insect that crawls? Ants, beetles, ladybugs. I like insects. Biodiversity means lots of different kinds of plants and animals in an area. Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm trying to be a good environmental citizen. Diversity is everywhere in nature. You can see it. And you can hear it. Let's listen. There's this great connection between every living creature on the planet. All of it is in a continuum working with each other to support life. There are lots of different plants and animals that interact with each other and help each other survive. Wow, biodiversity is everywhere. Yeah, I know a place where there's lots of biodiversity, a wetland. Let's check it out. Is everyone ready? Yep. yep. All right, let's go. This is a great example of a really healthy, diverse wetland. Behind me you'll see all different kinds of plants. There are frogs and tadpoles, as well as insects flying and crawling. This is what a wetland is supposed to look like. Wetlands are important because they are amongst the most diverse ecosystems we have. Hi, biodiversity! One of the main things that helps biodiversity is healthy habitats. Hi, I'm Bill Sweeney. I'm an environmental educator. And welcome to my classroom. I love bugs. We find a lot of diversity in our stream, and some of the bugs in the stream tell us a lot about their water quality. Water and healthy water is the key to a healthy planet. Is everyone ready to go see some biodiversity in the stream? Yeah! Look at all the variety of life we have here. A lot of variety here, and the types of insects that tell us that this water is very clean. The stream community. Diversity is good. Right here we have a native crayfish. See, he's pretty small. He is part of this healthy ecosystem where we have a lot of different species. An ecosystem is a system that's made up of interactions between living things and their environment. Be good to Mother Nature. A good planet is hard to find. What did the judge say when the stink bug came into the court? Odor, odor in the court. Serpentine barrens are a great example of an area with high biodiversity where the plants and animals are interacting and dependent upon each other. Hi, I'm Glenn and I'm the environmental educator for the Serpentine Barrens. Serpentine Barrens are a unique place. Because the soil here is so mineral rich, some very rare and special plants can grow here that are rare and unique to the barrens here in Pennsylvania. One of the unique characteristics of this particular pitch pine is that it can survive a fire. What's the difference between aquatic and terrestrial? Aquatic species are those that spend most of their time living in the water. Terrestrial species are those that spend most of their life on land. And some animals are both aquatic and terrestrial, like river otters. How do you like me now? Oh, brother. Let's go to the zoo. Hi, my name is Elaine. I'm an environmental educator. Welcome to Zoo America. We have 21 different kinds of snakes in Pennsylvania. They can be a predator, they can be a prey. Now, this is a black rat snake. It gets to be about eight feet long. And snakes, bison, and hawks, and flying squirrels, and river otters, and owls. This is a barred owl. It's the second largest one that we have. Look how well she can turn her head. They'll eat a frog, a toad, a small mouse. They'll even eat small snakes. Ow! And wolves, oh, oh, oh. and elk, and otters, and fish, and porcupines. Uh oh, now they're gonna talk about pollution. That's some scary stuff. 
People need to keep our world clean. You can say that again. People need to keep our world clean. Oh, brother. At one time, this whole mountain fell victim to air pollution created by the factory you see behind me that coated the side of this mountain and killed every living thing that lived here. No biodiversity. A hundred years ago, this whole mountain was covered with forest. It was a beautiful place, one of the most beautiful places in eastern North America. After the vegetation died, all of the topsoil washed off of the mountain, leaving behind these rocks and mineral soil that we have here now. Air pollution is bad for biodiversity, and it caused these problems. But the good news is, we can fix it. Nature is both delicate and really resilient and tough. If we just give it a helping hand, it's able to come back when we do this damage. Five years ago, this mountain was completely lifeless. And now, we're recovering our biodiversity, and life is back. Biodiversity. 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 Now you've learned about biodiversity and how important it is. I hope you'll do your part to protect it.